Welcome everybody to our daily practice. My name is Miles Reed and it's great to receive all of you for today. Our practice of 30 minutes is going to focus on the sitting orientation and uh, we work with the keys of purpose and humbleness and how the interaction between these two principles, the gathering strength and purpose and having a state of openness to give and receive in a balanced way with our lives. And we do that through movements. So first, uh, for any practice, we want to gather a little bit of uh, some blood flow and uh, activation of the body and be safe and protect our joints and muscles and get some of the energy flowing. And then we're going to direct it and work with the three different principles, uh, the energy of the lower part of the body, the energy of the middle of the body and the energy of the upper part of the body. So first of all, sitting on the very edge of the chair and we're going to extend one leg and bend down and just let all the weight fall onto your thigh and just stay in there let the neck release breathing into the belly and lengthening, stretching the hamstrings as you do that, the calves, the heels, and even the sole of the foot. So the toes are lifted and you just support it on the heels. And inhale coming up, switch legs, exhale down. Don't press too hard on your thigh so you don't strain your knee joint, but let your, your hands rest one on top of the other one on the area of the thigh just above the knee turn your trunk a bit so you're facing towards the extended leg and drop fully the head relax the eyes and the tongue inhale coming up and we're going to place the hamstring on the chair, facing the side and lengthening the psoas. Lift the spine straight up. Inhale and reach up with the hand. Also a lengthening to the side and extend the side of the body. Release the leg, switch to the other side. Take a moment just to find the position. You want to feel the extension here in the front of the leg that is extended backwards. And the spine has to be straight up and reaching up. One arm only, bend to the side. Focus that opening in the area between the rib cage and the hip bone. We open the pouch to our vital centers on the edge. And down. Release, come to the front. And swing to the side. Hold the chair from behind or if you don't have a back, just on the sitting plate. And twist. and roll to the side and twist again come to the front great and let's do a little tapping just to activate first the inside of the legs with a very loose fist And in the groin, pause outside, stay at the hips for a little bit, and then just come up to the inside, the, sorry, the behind you. 
behind. There we go. Staying behind the knees for a moment. Coming up the hamstrings, buttocks. Up sit and just striking your kidneys. Pause. Okay. Arm over the head, armpits. Keep striking all the way, chest and sternum. Coming along the inside of the arms, up the back, and the shoulder. Release all those tensions, all the weight that we carry. Squeeze it out. Up the side. So we're always sitting on the very edge. We can have the abdomen expanded. Make sure you don't have tight pants. Coming around the chest. Inside arms. Excellent. So let's oh, hold some positions of the legs. This is uh, part of the leg movements of the keys. So first of all, I want you to have the leg extended and just play with bending the foot back and pointing it to the front. Okay. You want to lean back on the chair, use the chair as a holding element and engage your abdomen as you are warming up now circles on the ankles and then we're going to pull the leg and point the foot engage nice the abdominal area and just hold it go a little bit further up and less so we're going to very light bending of the knee without extending fully you're holding the leg up using your abdominal area support pause pulling in extend the leg up pointing hold it there hold the leg in the air with the abdominal area and very strong engagement of the muscles of the legs and then pull back the foot and bring the leg down pull in Extend, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back the foot and down the heel. Pull, extend, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back and down. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down. Shake the leg a little bit. Other side. So just play first with the detail pulling in and out as you point the foot forward. And just the ankle. A few circles. Okay, pull, extend, and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back and down. And number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And shake it. Okay, now the other foot, right? We're going to pull in and then open. And just stay open. And just lean forward. Drop your head. Work with finding the least noise as you sit. Let go of the head and point in the foot. And then pull back the foot and point the foot and pull back and just hold the pull back and see if you can lean a little further in. And point up the body, extend the leg out to the side, pointing and hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull back, come around and pull in, bend forward, up, extend and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and in. Number three, up and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, back in. Four, up, out. Hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Pull back the foot, come around. Last one. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and around. Vibrate the leg. Other side. Pull in, open, and lean forward. We're going to stay here first. Foot pointing out. Find yourself in this position. Barely breathing. Soft tongue in the mouth. Pull back the foot. See if you can lean in a bit more. And in and out the foot. In and out just the ankle. And then keep it pointed as you open to the side and hold it. Hold it. Really strong leg all around, front and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull back the foot, come around, and next rep. Fold forward, push for a sec, up, out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and around. Three. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four. Up and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down. Vibrate the leg. Vibrate both legs. Great. Excellent. Now we have the energy nice and opened through the legs into the hips. And we can bring energy into the vital organs, into the trunk. So sitting nice and straight. We're going to go through uh, some variations of the strikes. Different ways to uh, move energy in the, these three layers. And then we're going to bring that energy in and play with that. So first we have the fist, left hand strikes down, twisting and up. And don't bend the elbow completely. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. To get the feel for the motion, twisting the trunk and delivering the jolt from the middle of the abdomen and the, the in this case the right vital center. If you look at this from the muscle area, the obliques on the right side are delivering a jolt as they untwist. And one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now, um, by the way, plant your feet nice and strong, okay? And we strike at the height of the solar plexus, our middle point, middle area of the trunk. And a very short strike to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Short strike. Nine, ten. And the other side, get the feel for it. One, two, three. The height of the midsection. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now across the base of the neck, upper trunk. One, it's the longer strike. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going in diagonal across, across that base of the neck area. Breaking any stagnant energy at the level of the base of the neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause for a second. Let's adopt the position of the first strike and pause there. So check on all the elements of your body. So feet are nicely planted down. My legs are all contracted, especially the back of the hamstrings. My elbow is slightly bent. My fist faces my left and I turned at the trunk. I'm turned just at the edge of the rib cage. And my shoulders are not high, they're down. And I am in this position, engaging the middle of the lower abdomen. Inhale, come back. Exhale, come into all those details. And stay. Inhale back. One more time. Now we're going to position the other side to come and take over and then alternate the opposite side. Check on the same details from feet all the way to the shoulders. Inhale, exhale. And now the other side gets ready in the midsection. And this comes from the, so touch the rib cage and then the fist straight to the front, short, and just stay there. And I want you to engage all the area underneath the armpits, under the armpits, all the oblique, this muscle on the side of the rib cage, and squeeze and sink in into the midsection. Inhale to retrieve, exhale, and sinking in, engaging everything as you extend the fist to the front. This is a very light extension. I'm not here, okay? Very short. I'm sinking in here, actually. I'm activating the side. And one more time. The other side. And then coming across, across. So I want you to feel the area under your neck as if you are cutting across that area. 
if I project my energy from the base of my neck forward, I'm cutting across that. On the other side. And we begin to alternate. And one, and two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Going in a wheel, one after the other. One down, two side, three up. Different directions of the fists. And now release the jolt and just go in a just a fluid motion. But you're still engaging the trunk, engaging everything at the end of the movement. So you don't lose. You're engaging and disengaging. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back to the strikes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release the wrist, release the fists. The next set of strikes for the humbleness reciprocity key is a piercing strike. Pierce down. One, two, three, four, five. So send the energy down and cut across this area of the lower abdomen, but on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next is at the chest level, palms face the body, and piercing, pierce. Very straight the palms, straight the wrists, tuck the thumbs. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause for a moment. Open the legs a bit more. You need a bit more stability on this one. And we're going to go a little faster. Just a little fast pacing, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And upwards. Deliver a jolt up, pierce through the veil of the top. We are breaking the energy in the head area now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So all the back of the arm, it's called the triceps, the under pits, they shoot up and contract the abdomen and the feet down energy and up in the, in the hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the left side, comes the three jolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And the right side. And alternating next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Pause. Whoo, excellent. Good work, everybody. Release the arms a bit. Just to close, we're going to then now that will be pierced and move the energy in all these centers. Let's bring the energy in, hold it in, grab in, bring your fists inwards, inhale, contract the perineum. Exhale, inhale, exhale, in, out, and come around inhaling fingertips. Exhale out. And just pause here for a moment. Feeling the exchange of energy. First we pack it, gain our purpose, and then we open ourselves to the free flow of energy with the environment. Come in, fold into a solar plexus, inhale into the fists. Hold, exhale. Inhale, rise and pack. Hold and then exhale. One more time. Open the arms, come around into the chest bone. Inhale deeply. Exhale, roll to the finger pads, touch the chest and open to the sides. Find that floating position in space. Palms open, keeping your shoulders as Relax as you can and feel the energy in the chest. Coming around, inhaling with the fists, just holding them in front of the V-spot, base of the neck. Three breaths. Always rising the energy from the perineum with the inhale, holding the breath to store it. Exhaling, just release the air, keep the energy there. Open the fists, come around, inhaling, coming over the head, fingertips on the crown. Let's keep it here for a second. We'll do a bunch of in and out breaths with the nose. Pause. 
pause, inhale deeply, exhale and open hands above the head or at the head level. Calling on the state of openness. I am present for this night dreams, if it's your night time. I'm present and open to my day if you are in a different time zone. And very slowly letting the arms extend out as they come around and down very slowly. Take your time. Rest the palms down. And like this, we conclude our practice. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of the week and night and day.